red and white, green and white, yellow and blue, red and yellow. These are the colours that together with the magnificent costumes characterise the historical procession that has paraded through the streets of Orvieto on the Sunday of Corpus Domini since 1951. They're the colours of the four quarters, Sarancha, Olmo, Stella, and Corsica, that used to divide the town and still do. These colours are repeated in the precious costumes and also in the flowers and flags decorating the streets during the celebrations. The banners of the medieval quarters face one another at the clock tower, right in the centre of the town. According to historical documents, 12 armed men originally escorted the reliquary of the corporal in an important event joining the religious procession that celebrated the miracle of Bolsena as far back as 1337. The solemn choreography of the historical procession reminds us of the political and military powers of the vast and important medieval town. This is why it was a procession just for men, carefully reconstructed, and no figure is by chance. Among the 400 figures in the procession are those with the important administrative duties who worked in the local government. The Podesta, who was chief magistrate of the city and local administrator. The Gonfalonieri of Justice, who was in charge of internal security forces and maintenance of public order. The captain of the people, who had the military power. Judge of the Coletta, Constable of the Knights, he was head of the Calvary who looked after the best and noble houses in the town. And many other knights and riders. And the captain of the crossbow. The footmen with candles are particularly interesting. The only ones who receive a modest allowance for participating. All the others are volunteers, not because of the obvious exertion, but because they were paid in the olden days. A large space is naturally given to the flag show, and the representatives of the four quarters are introduced by the major standard bearer, drummers, militia, and the picturesque parade with the representatives of the guilds, who are the economic core of the medieval town. The costumes are real masterpieces made by local craftsmen and the Orvietani are quite rightly proud. Soft suits in natural leather, made completely by hand, armour, helmets, shields, modelled and chiselled by skilled armourers, flags, standards and banners finely decorated, precious artisan materials created with loving hands, dressing the splendid multicoloured figures of the nobility with dignity.